Robert Levinson is the longest held American hostage in Iran. His family is now calling on the U.S. to do more to secure his release. Levinson's family said in a statement today they're disappointed the U.S. has been unable to bring him home. Jeff Begay's tonight on The Family's Plea. Robert Levinson, a former FBI agent, vanished in 2007. The FBI believes he was captured on Iran's Kish Island while on a mission for the CIA. We have been fighting for 12 and a half years to get my father home to us. We know the Iranian regime is responsible for um, kidnapping him. You have no doubt. We have no doubt whatsoever. This April 2011 photo of Levinson in an orange jumpsuit still gives his family hope that eight years later he is fighting and staying strong. Last month, the Iranian government admitted in a United Nations filing that Levinson's case was ongoing. His family saw that as a ray of hope. It shows exactly what we've believed all along, which is that the Iranians took him back in March of 2007 and that they have the ability to send him home to us. The reward for information leading to the 71-year-old's return has been increased to $25 million. Sarah believes the reward and President Trump's Twitter messages demonstrate that the U.S. government is engaged on the issue. We want to know what charges they have against him, but most importantly, we want him home. He has seven kids. He has a loving wife who is his soulmate, and he has nine grandchildren, eight of whom he hasn't met yet. So we want him home. In October, Robert O'Brien became the president's national security advisor. When he worked in the State Department, he led diplomatic efforts on hostage-related matters and worked closely with the Levinson family. Further evidence the Levinson family hopes that the White House is working to bring Bob Levinson home. Jeff Begay's CBS News, Washington.